Drugs, prostitution and assault. A motel becoming a frequent problem spot for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Now some question why more is not being done. ABC Action News reporter Kylie McGivern joins us live from the Red Roof Inn in Brandon. Kylie, how bad is it? Well, Jameson, we decided to take a closer look after we kept seeing the address for this property come up in search warrants. And then we found that deputies have been called to this address 200 times since January. And despite all of that, we found out that no one has reached out to a county board that could help declare it a public nuisance. So we asked why. It seems um, that there is a lot of action here. Call after call, bringing deputies to the Red Roof Inn on Horace Avenue, a place Brian Bowman was forced to call his home away from home after a recent house fire. They've been really nice to us. It's just unfortunate there's um, bad people that ruin the good. I came early. You caught the capsule. There's a lot of issues that we um, feel we need to get into our room quick. The Hillsborough County Nuisance Abatement Board hears cases involving properties like this, with repeated calls for prostitution, drug activity, and stolen property. It can then set fines and even shut a place down. Any citizen or the sheriff's office can file a petition, but deputies have not, saying it appears to be a legitimate business and Red Roof and ownership and staff have no prior knowledge of guests' prior criminal activity. We found the sheriff's office hasn't filed a petition with the nuisance abatement board in six years. I'm kind of confused why it hasn't already happened and why the county hasn't already stepped in and tried to um, fix a problem that is we all see. And the sheriff's office says that it takes each case on an individual basis. But what it has done is it has stepped up patrolling areas like hotels and motels where you get people coming through from different areas and that often leads to arrests. We've also, of course, checked in with the actual owner of this red roof in and we are still waiting to hear back. Reporting live, Kylie McGivern, ABC Action News.